Number one is 50 pound trout. Cohen trained and driven by Joe Hood on corners, Wayne Giles and Herb Boggs. Number one is 50 pound trout. Tom Strauss is trainer and driver of two Bronski for owners Sherry and Thomas Vincent. Royal Pocket Three. Steve Nichols trains for Anthony Nichols, Phil Hood on drives. Three is Royal Pocket. Cold Spot Four. Trained by Rocco Osiello for Don and Robert Burgess. They're homebred driven by Kelvin Rose. Four is Cold Spot for the gold final. Here's five, Bionic Ballad, trained by Bud Thorne for owners Alana Toth and Earl Lennox. Mike Saftig drives five, Bionic Ballad. John Shakin is co-owner and trainer of six Emmett, co-owners Kathy Shakin, Wayne Krause, driver Bill O'Donnell. Clay Moss, trainer and driver on seven, Ozzy in action for Deanna and James Moss. Eight is Malpac Bay, trained and driven and co-owned by Bill Sharp, co-owners Joe and Bill Rogers. Elizabeth and Thomas Rankin owners, Pat Hunt trains, Randall Waples drives nine, Liberty Balance. Ron Henderson is co-owner, trainer and driver of 10, Brad Meister, co-owners Joan and Carlisle Hope and Vince Hughes. The Ontario sired and bred three-year-old Coltan Gelding Trotters for the Ontario Sire Stakes Gold Final. The purse is $100,000. Made in Ontario, the $100,000 final of the Ontario Sire Stakes. Gold Series, three-year-old Colt Trot, and they're off. And uh, tardy for the gate and gapped out noticeably was Emmett as they got away. It's Ozzy in action going first to the lead. Extreme outside, Liberty Balance is gunning. Malpec Bay is wanting to be near them. Cold spot along the inside from fourth. Royal Pocket is laying off from fifth. 50-pound trout is sixth, seventh. And hung to the outside is Bionic Ballad. Eased out of there into the first turn. Moving third from last was Bronski. Then it's back to Brad Meister. And after a tentative start, Emmett is trailing tenth. Ozzy in action leaves Liberty Balance. Balance out there the entire first turn of 28 seconds flat. And there goes Liberty Balance trotting to the lead. But he's paid dearly to be there, parking past the first three eighths. Ozzy in action took him on. Will now yield. Cold spot fires up on the outside. Malpec base it's in from fourth. Here's Royal Pocket on the outside from fifth. Bionic Ballad overland, but well rated with cover. Sixth on the outside. 50 pound trout is seventh. Brad Meister. A tighter eighth on the outside. Bronski is ninth. And Emmett was tenth off a half battling. In 58 seconds flat, and a leadership change as Cold Spot takes over from a hard spent Liberty Balance onto the final turn. Picking up third on the outside and going on is Royal Pocket. Bionic Ballad is on his cover, second over from fourth. And at the inside, fifth is Ozzy in action on that final turn with Brad Meister from sixth, Molpec Bay. Losing positions from seventh, Bronski is eighth, 50 pound trout is ninth, and Emmett was tenth. Emerging as the leader, it had stretches. Cold Spot. It's Cold Spot and Kelvin Rose. 127 three quarter time cold spot the leader as they come into the final eighth of the mile in the Ontario Sire Stakes gold final it's Bionic Ballad that's digging up in the center of the track and coming through again is Liberty Balance off stride went Royal Pocket here comes Bionic Ballad Liberty Balance is back through cold spot is all out Bionic Ballad is coming on Bionic Ballad wins the gold over Liberty Balance and cold spot Bionic Ballad in 157 and 4 captures the OSS Gold. Five Liberty Bionic Balance ballad. is back through. Cold Spot is all out. Bi Returning as the seventh race winner of the Ontario Sire Stakes Gold Final. Bionic Ballad is a Royal Ballad, three-year-old brown gelding from Valentine Image. Homebred of Elena Toth of Grand Valley in Sudbury, co-owner Earl Lennox of Orton, Ontario, trained by Bud Thorne and driven to victory by Mike Saftig. It's his second win in three starts this year, 157-4, to capture the Ontario Sire Stakes Gold Final at Mohawk, Bionic Ballad. The Winter Circle Trophy presentation for the Ontario Sire Stakes Representing the Ontario Jockey Club, Woodbine and Mohawk. Mr. H. Barry Hewson, the Director of Racing for the Standard Bread Division for the Woodbine and Mohawk Circuit.
textbook for you coming from off the pace and going into the race and the way the track was playing tonight, was that in your mind? I thought we'd go good honest for actions uh, with a couple of speed horses on the outside. So yeah, I was hoping just to lay off. Uh, it looked like some of the horses weren't grabbing the track as well tonight. Uh, how is track condition and how did your horse handle it? Well, it's muddy out there and you're racing three-year-old trotting colts early in the year, so anything can happen. But um, it's tough on them. It's tiring and it's not real even, so some of them might be slipping away a little bit. All right, we'll take another look at the stretch drive, and at this point, uh, you're still not by, but do you think you're going to get there? Actually, my colt was, had a little hike to him, you know, towards the end of the mile. I think more from being tired and going those kind of fractions in the mud, but I was just kind of trying to hold them together. Well, a great job, and congratulations, Mike Saftik, winning tonight's gold final. Thanks, Rick. All right, we've got the eighth race on the way next. Up to Frank Salib for a look ahead to the changes.